Hi and welcome, Lisa here for Trinity Stamps. Thanks for joining me for another card video. So today I'm gonna to be sharing a few little space cards with the Otter Space Stamps and Dies. Plus I'm gonna show you how I created this galaxy background watercoloring with Memento Dye inks. Of all the ways that I've tried the galaxy backgrounds, this has been by far the most enjoyable and the easiest for me. So I have a piece of Arches watercolor paper taped down to a hard board with purple tape. I'm just laying down some clean water in a few areas and then next I'm going to lay down some Bahama blue ink straight to my mat and then I'm going to pick that up with my watercolor brush and start adding it to the areas where I laid down that water. Then I'm going to come in with the color Rosebud and do the same thing. Lay that ink down on the mat and then lay it down right next to that Bahama Blue on my paper. I'm going to come in next with Paris Dusk and I'm going to use that to cover the whole panel working around the blue and pink areas. So while I was thinking about the cards that I wanted to make and seeing them in my mind's eye, I was trying to find a way to create galaxy backgrounds that would be a little bit easier for me and have a bright, bold color to it. And then I started thinking, you know, I really love using my Memento inks for watercoloring. They do a great job. How about let's try those? And then the Paris dusk popped into mind because I feel like sometimes we get so wrapped up in the black of the galaxy that we forget that it does need a little bit of blue in there. So that's when I decided I had to give this a go because I, I just had a feeling that it was going to be okay. It was going to look amazing. <laughs> and so I just went with it. So I did come in with the Tuxedo Black ink and I mixed it with the Paris Dusk and I'm just starting to come in, blend some areas together. You're going to see me dry this with my heat tool a couple of times so that I can continue layering the ink. I found that if you dry your panel and then go back to adding ink to it, it helps to intensify the color. So that's all I did. I just went back and forth between my colors, playing around with them. You know, I came in with some grape jelly ink, added that. I have added more of the Bahama Blue, more of the Rosebud, and just until I was happy with it. And I think that's the biggest thing with these galaxy backgrounds is you have to work with them until you're happy with them. There really is no way to say, okay, this is exactly what you need to do and then someone be able to sit down and do that. I can tell you the products I used and I can let you watch me and then you try to mimic that, but it's still not gonna be exactly like mine. So just have fun with it and work with it until you're happy with it. So I went ahead and used my Paul Rubens watercolor paints, they're shimmer paints, and I flicked some white shimmer paint onto this. And I wanted it to have that kind of Milky Way look to it. So I thought, you know, instead of fighting with the water and messing up my panel, what if I just took a small sponge dauber, wet it, dabbed it into some of that shimmer paint, and then started adding it to the panel. And I actually love the way that this turns out. Now, I will tell you that the pans for uh, the Paul Rubin paints are kind of small. So I decided to bring in my Fine Tech because the pans are round and much larger. So it was easier for me to get in there and pick up that shimmer paint. So that's what I do here. I come in, I pick up the shimmer paint from the Fine Tech, and then I really start to lay down that uh, white shimmer paint. And you can see it there. I think it turned out beautiful. I'm even going to take that ink dauber and come in and lay some of these colors down straight off of my mat. So that's one thing. One cool thing about the Memento inks, if you watercolor with them like I did here, and then you decide you want to intensify that color a little bit, then just take an ink dauber and go straight in with the ink and fill in any areas that you know you might not be happy with. 
my biggest thing I can tell you is just to have fun with it. So, but if you have memento inks, by all means, give that a go. I think you might enjoy it. So I'm going to move on now to stamping the images from the Otter Space stamp set. And I'm going to be using 80 pound smooth paper. I'm using my Misty and Memento Tuxedo Black ink so we can do some Copic coloring. I am going to turn on some music and speed up the coloring process. I'm going to have the marker caps turned up for you. I'll also have a color guide over on my blog if you want to check it out. Also, I want to mention that I'm going to color the moon yellow and orange colors, but I do realize that that's a moon and it probably should be colored gray, but in my world today, it's going to be yellow and orange. So now if you want to fast forward through the coloring process, go hop over to seven minutes and 45 seconds, and I'm going to then start putting the cards together. Okay, so the rest is all pretty easy. I die cut all the images out. I also ran the heart die through the die cut machine twice so that I could stamp it with gray cardstock. I'm gonna go ahead and add some double-sided adhesive to the back of the galaxy backgrounds. And then I'm gonna center them on five inch by three and a quarter inch white cardstock panels. Then we'll go ahead and arrange those onto our card bases that are five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. We're going to use mounting foam to add those white cardstock panels to our card bases. Then we'll just go ahead and arrange all of the images however we want them and use little round foam adhesives to uh, adhere the images to the card. Now, sentiment I want to talk to you about that the sentiment I wanted to use was something that I wanted to use because I wanted it to be for everything we're all going through we're all apart right now um, and I wanted the sentiment to read together at heart while we are apart and I thought that that sentiment played well with this card the little space otters are apart they have the heart between them, connecting them. So I just thought, you know, that plays well with this. I don't have that in a stamp form. So what I did was printed it off onto vellum on my printer. And then I just added some double-sided adhesive to the back of the vellum and then added some white cardstock to that, trimmed it down, added a foam strip to the back of it to adhere it to the bottom of the card, as you can see here. and. It was pretty much that easy. I am finding I'm doing that a lot more, um, printing my sentiments. If I don't have a stamp set to say what I want it to, then I'll just print my sentiment off. 
I hope you'll click that subscribe button or ring the bell to be notified of new content to the channel. Now for more information on the products I used, head over to the Trinity Stamps website. As always, please know how much we appreciate you joining us and we hope you have an amazing day.